Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for Cry, my new series, How I Like It, James Mazzo, super excited, like always. But yeah, today is for Cry, and I'm using a couple new products to me. I have the Let It Snow Girl uh, kit from Too Faced, and it makes a little snowman. If I can hold them all together makes a little snowman. It's so cute. I'm using the Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place. Um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit my notification bell so you're gonna upload every single Tuesday and Thursday. And let's go ahead and get into this video. I think I'm in focus. So today we are going to start this video like we do every video. This is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. Using a couple new items, but we're gonna use two different palettes today. Both of these are new to me, they're not actually new launches. The first one we are going to use is the uh, Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place, you guys know that. And this palette is stunning. I mean, come on. So, we're gonna take this hot pink called Fanti, I think it is this one right here and we're going to use that as our transition color today Now I'm going to take the shade Kahina, I think it's the one right above it. I'm going to put that directly into my crease. And then we're gonna go back into that pink shade. Just use that to blend out the edges. This looks really pretty. I really like it. Okay, now we are going to go into this guy. This is the Too Faced something. Um, I think it's called. It's called Let It Snow, girl. Um. It's like a collection of stuff. So that is this palette here. Um, it's new, I just got it. It's super like cute. Like it comes with three, like two others and it makes like a little snowman. It's so cute. But this is the eyeshadow palette and it looks like this. I've never seen Too Faced packaging like this. Like it's really weird. Uh, and I'm going to take the shade Resting Wish Face, which is this one right here and I'm going to put that directly into my crease to deepen it up. Okay, 
Now I'm going to go back into Fanti. I'm sorry, moving out of frame. It's incredibly hard to keep myself focused when I can't see this far away. I don't have contacts, so without my glasses on, I'm like, I don't know, my focus? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take the Too Faced glitter glue now. This is my favorite glitter glue. Like this is amazing, especially not even just for just glitter like shadows it really works well with shimmer shadows really anything and you really need like the tiniest amount of this stuff and it goes a really long way so i'm gonna take this and put it on in the front half Now we're gonna go back into that Too Faced palette and we're gonna take the shade Sugar Show, which is this one right here, and we're going to pack that on right on top of that glitter glue. Now I'm going to go back into the Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to take the shade Candice, which is this purple right here in the center, and I'm going to put that on the outer edge of my eye. And then I'm going to take Resting Wish Face again. Just very lightly start blending everything together. So this is the Merle Norman 24 Karat Gold Firming Foundation Primer. It's probably a bad mistake or bad decision because my face is kind of dry today and red. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I haven't used this primer in a minute and I really want to. This primer is. I'm also going to use a foundation brush today. I used it, and I think it was my What If You Fell In Love video, and I really liked it, so I'm gonna use it again with a different foundation and see if I still like it. I'm not typically too fond of using brushes with foundation, but people change, people change. So I'm gonna try it with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi 
foundation. This one is in the shade Porcelain Light Ivory. Let's give it a quick shake. Definitely gonna need more. <laughs> I think applying with a sponge is definitely faster, but I'm undecided if I like applications better with a sponge or a brush. I think with this foundation, I prefer it with a sponge because I think the brush is not doing a very good job of blending it out. But, you know, I just have to work a little bit harder to get it to look seamless. Cause I can definitely tell that I used a brush today. And the last time I did this, I couldn't tell. Like it looked really, really good. Different foundation. For concealer today. Let's take, let's take this. This is the Marlon Lauren Dual Action Concealer in the shade light. I didn't actually wet my sponge because I told myself I wasn't going to use it today. So, we'll see how this goes. Do I have like a brush that I think concealer would work well with? I mean, I have this little circular brush that I can try. I've never actually used this brush before, so let's give it a shot. For concealer for sure with a sponge. I just think it looks a little bit more seamless. But you know. Now I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder in the shade 5 Fair and use that to set the concealer. I'm not actually baking, I'm just setting it down. Take a little bit more of that powder and when I say like a little bit, I mean like the smallest as possible. And I'm gonna dip a big old brush in it, use that whole thing to set my foundation. have like a new one it came with the um let it snow girl set it's the chocolate soleil bronzer i think this is too dark for me to contour with what do you guys think i'm gonna try it i'll try it i think it's gonna be too dark come but i'm gonna do it so it's there I actually have this bronzer already in the uh, Little Black Book of Bronzers by Too Faced. I want to use something glowy for bronzer, so I'm going to take the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting All Over Face and Body Glow in the shade Tahitian Glow.
have new blush too. It's the like middle part of the snowman. They're so pretty. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna mix. So I'm gonna mix Snow Kissed and Christmas Dream, which are these two. So just do, 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 do. Ooh, these are pigments. I've never used a Too Faced blush before. Looks pretty. Maybe a little bit too much for what I'm used to, but it's pretty. I like the blush quad. I think it's really cute. Now, this is also a highlighter right here. I think it might be too dark, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So it is called Angel Wings. I'm gonna try it. I think it's gonna be a smidge too dark, but we're gonna roll with it. Okay, so it's not too dark. I think it's definitely more of like a natural highlight. Like it's, it's definitely there. It's not as natural as like my Wet n Wild um, color icon highlighter, but this is more of like a lit from within. It's not super intense like Mary Blue or my LA Colors or LA Girl one that I really, really like. First, I'm gonna take the shade Resting Wish Face again. It's that one. And I'm gonna put that across my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Fanti again, which is that pink. Going to take a white eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in the shade To My Yang. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. I'm going to take the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and put that on. I was gonna wear a liquid lipstick, but I think I'm just gonna do normal lipstick. I'm gonna take the Beauty Bakery Cake Pop Lippy in the shade Skinny Dip. Let's highlight her in a corner now, since I forgot to. 
So I'm gonna take the shade Break of the Ice, which is this one right here. And hopefully this is light enough. Oh yeah. everyone that is it for cry i really hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe making sure that i didn't have lipstick on my teeth make sure you subscribe my channel before you leave your notification bell so you know when i upload every tuesday and thursday give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video